previously on I, the Somnium Files. Let's see, lots of stuff happened. We, uh, Date came. Uh, went for a drive. Mizuki came out of it, thanks to Itomi. Uh, Renju's gone. We got some information from Mama here. And we examined, uh... Oh, I always have to get my, my controls. Hello, friend. You are a friend's virus, Inota. We, uh... We examined your bone structure. Thanks for that. Now we're gonna go uh, meet the Kumukuras. What could go wrong? Kumukura office. Looks like a construction office. Just bust right in. You look friendly. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Alright. Bye then. Hey, Date! What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chunks. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Oh, da whoa, damn. Cheep, 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 cheep. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? That voice does not match your uh, current attitude. Oh, thunk. Thunk. Ooh, it's music. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Okay, never mind. I can, I can see it matching because it's, you look fucking terrified. We should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. I'm just here uh, polishing my knives right, uh, Moma, day to day. Uh, I have a few things I want to ask you. Operations. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. Really? How? Heard it on the news. It's not right, of course. Should have seen that coming. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. Okay, very good. The chairman's desk. The deskman's chair. Telephone on the, telephone on the desk. Keyboard. Ima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. Personal computer. Iva can't hack it. It's turned off. You can't hack it, Iva. Door. Dragon, dragon. Bronze dragon. I wish will it come true? That is not Shenron. <laughs> Thanks for making the outright reference. I wish for panties. Date. I told you that's not Shenron. A dragon holding a golden ball. Give me the orb. There are lanterns with Kumakura written on them. The Kumakura Crest. Thank you. The chairman's chair. Ooh, more dragon. Shinto Shrine. To the window. To the floor. Shelf. There's a lot to see here. Let's lock it the window. Some kind of permit. Destruction. Company philosophy on the wall. After 40, your toenails grow slower. Well, that's an interesting motto. Like a summary of the ideals and goals of that company. Huh. Nice bit of information. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 22nd, go to the zoo to see the pandas. Good schedule. Member B. Look. It's getting one. He's completely out. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Tiger? That is a big flying squirrel. <laughs> that is a tiger. Ah, yes. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. But um Do 
think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? Hey. It's a comfy sofa. And obviously Tate sleeps on a sofa, but... A ton of things on top. Oh. Fat one. He's holding his stomach in pain. I got nothing to say to you. You look, you look like the curry man from Ghost Trick. Partition set up by the doorway? The entrance. Alright. On to you, worm. The man sitting in the chair and seat is named Moma. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. In the chair. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Oh? You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. Oh? I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. What a fucking unit. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Oh, Jesus. Suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. What? Six years ago. Curious. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. You're thinking about investment fraud. I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Okay, that is a good smirk. Fuck no. Why would we do that? Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. Now show me your bones, structure, Moma. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Oh, sweet. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. It's x ray <laughs> What? There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw in my it's a, a diner. It's a fucking A set. An A set figure. Oh god. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps. Hey. You wouldn't happen to be a fan of A set, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? Okay, okay, baby face. Don't don't start any shit, or else I will uh, control C and uh, shrink your face by another ten percent. Tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never be in a pussy shit like that, you fucker. Wow. We got our answer pretty quickly. The fat one. I have one of them scary. The kind that knifes nicely at night. It just might. But um, bum bum. Fears. Regret. Hey, <laughs> said. Shadows. Threat. A silhouette. Hey, <laughs> said. Oh my God. Water. Water. Wait. Uh, sweat. Hey, said. Hey, said. You bet. Just as I thought. Boss. What's this? Sh shut up. <laughs> Don't look at me. Get out of here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I got ET Oh god. Take take your take your sad pouty baby bottle head face and Did get you out of here. Me? I said get the fuck out of here! Yes, sir. The fat one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now. I had no idea you were a net idol. How did you know? You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm Shoko in the Komakunas. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Hmm. Makes sense on the surface. Rohan was my older brother. What a fucking unit. He was my big brother in this organization and my blood brother. He, he channeled all of his all of his hair points into sideburns. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah. After breaking out of the hospital. Hospital? Why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The hmm. Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. Jesus. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. Right eye? The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Alright. Left handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. The inferior hemisphere. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. It's curious. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. Ooh. From the toe to the thigh. Ooh. Totally blank expression. Ooh. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Oh, that's fucked. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? The world needs more anime fans in charge. He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. Huh. When was he hospitalized? About six years ago. Alright, we, we, we got diverted discussing uh, Kumakura lore. I remember lore. him telling me about something big. Some six years ago. To the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. There's a lot that's coming back to six years ago, isn't there? He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Hmm. Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. Shooting some guy in... Huh. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know. 
His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Curious. You're Renju, right? No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Mooma about Renju's accident. About his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Fair enough. Tell me what you know. Hey, Mooma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASET fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASET. What? <laughs> I met her yesterday at Lemnusgate. We're acquaintances now. Really? <laughs> You promise? Yeah, I promise. Hey, A said, Deary, we're going to go for our. We're going to go on a date? Here, here's my new best friend, Moma. Us Kumakuras are friends what could go the wrong? Saki family. I mean, uh, He is. somehow. a stan, so. I don't think anything bad the would Saki happen. The family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory. Oh. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moba is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. I mean, hey. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. Where, though? Back to Abyss? Done all we can, and we haven't really turned up anything. Hello, Iba. Iba not charging. Iba vibing. Viba. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? 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 How? A flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? I'm a cop. Oh god. Glove box. Oh. Swyhander. That's a broadsword. Hey. Look at that. A huge dog with a human face is chasing me. You should grant it the right of way. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Hi, Iba. What would be precise the image of Iba sitting in the passenger seat is being sent to my brain? Iba is Viba. Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come <laughs> out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Shrimp girl jump scare. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. I, I'm your own personal hallucination. Oh, right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. <laughs> if you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. Oh god. Do you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. <laughs> Such a sweet smile to say something so morbid. 
quite even have that function. My body is full of cutting edge technology and state secrets. Oh no, I best mine. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. It's also a, a handy dandy con control. Strictly Let's think. Speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. If uh, Iba's barrack is out of hand. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by oh, Isaac okay. Asimov. Fair enough. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. Oh, I just realized. If I hold the right mouse button down, I can scroll the cam the camera. You have such authority. Well, that's concerning. Let us determine a code number. Sixty nine, sixty nine. Command four one two zero five. I ain't never gonna remember if that. Issue this command. I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first. What is the second command? Let's see. Self destruct. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Well, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. Interesting. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. I the cloud. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes. As long as the server is alive. How'd you come up with that number? 41205. Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. Oh. There is no particular meaning. Really? Curious? Commiserate. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Hmm. Six years ago, I lost my past. Name, addresses, family, childhood, everything. That wasn't all I lost. My left eye. Don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. Till a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me. To where you belong. Oh. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. Abyss, a year later. I was called into the control room where Pewter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Right, fitting. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. It's been five years since then. Five years and a number of tough cases. But this time is different. Feels different. Concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. About Shoko Nadami's murder, we still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iva, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. 
Really? Really, oh. really, really. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? What, what, what? Uh Oh boy. Oh, this feels kind of significant. <laughs> this feels kind of significant. I for one vote for Shoko's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. We did hear her voice in uh, Mizuki's Can you Zombie voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Because we did. did! You already did! What? To, uh, imitation should be possible. I was gonna say, I thought you already did. Although I guess you more vaguely imitated it in, in the okay. Somnium. This is reality. You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. <laughs> me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. For first thing out of your mouth if the phone if the caller connects. Surprise, bitch. Bet you thought you saw the best of me. Sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence, not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. Alright, Hal, let's see what you can do. <laughs> it, it's connected! It's ringing! I thought you said you didn't get nervous. Uh uh. Oh, Iba. Down. Deep breaths. You can do this, Iba. I believe in you. Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. <laughs> Focus. They're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by sister his name get his name how oh god are you Yamada huh huh a lot of interesting things going on here I think we made the right call although then again I don't know if this is actually of any importance or if it'll change anything Are you Yamada? Is this Yamada? No, this is. Say it, say it. Are you sure you have the right number? It can't be. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan. Okay, all right. He knows we got Shoko's phone. You're an imposter. I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. Uh, hello, friend. The congressman. A politician? Sejima. Well. <laughs> Hi. I'm evil. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Hmm. Why so? So called Shoko. Hmm. Unknown, but that was definitely so Sejima. I don't think he's involved in the murder, but he's involved in something bad. 
So So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? Yes, it was. If you weren't in a, if you weren't on a hallucination, I'd head yeah, pat you. Good job. Is that all? What? Do you want me to pat you on the head? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Yes, yeah, she does. I tap my fingertip against my left. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! It tickles. Oh my god. Bra, bra, bra. Call came in soon after. Tate, a call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Tate from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? Eh? Save the call. I think you should give it a listen. All right. Who is this? In here. Akasaka. I'm known as number 89. All right. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogunadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. Convenient. We'll kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. All right. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now. So, Sejima. So, Sejima. Like, oh my god, you're so Sejima. Yes, I am. Oh, all right, we're hey, just... You can't be here without permission. I'll call the police! I am the police, motherfucker. What Whoa. happened? Sir. A uh, police officer. You. Uh, me? Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. That's my grin. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. <laughs> Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? You you look like you have a mouthful of something. You made a face at him. No reaction. Guess you really can't see well in those. Bodyguard. Because I can't tell these guys apart. This one will be B. B is standing there. Good B. Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rub my thumb against my pointer finger in a circle. Probably double what you make. Really? I have a bring up a job search website. <laughs> On it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I need to know the answer now. The stage of my residence. That's a big caboose. No, wait, that's a bush. It's a nice bush. Ah, so. Tree. That's a nice tree. Look, Date, your favorite cabaret girl is here. What? That's just a lantern. Rika isn't that sturdy. <laughs> Garden lantern. Garden stone. Yo, Angelo. Not a caboose. Where are we going? Oh, 
What's your name? What's your name? He didn't say a word. Bodyguard. Can't tell these guys apart, so we'll just call him A. Got a girlfriend? Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. This guy's domestic. His normalcy must be punished by death. <laughs> <laughs> What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. You're that's so Scorpio. My god, dude. Your boss is a liar, you know. I'm right Aren't here. All politicians. That's surprisingly honest. It, yeah, how frank of you. They're all. Show me your bone structure. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? <laughs> Gun! Of course! Oh, beautiful. Peel off his nails. I should get some pliers and take his nails off. I thought that wasn't your style. <laughs> right, Pitma. I'll give you one million yen for the truth. Only one million. Only? That's the kind of world he lives in. Uh, gun. Maybe I'll pull out my gun. That would result in heavy disciplinary action. So it says you're a congressman. I've seen him on TV so many times, I feel like I've met him before. That's how parasocial relationships work. Iba, call his phone again, using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why yeah, did you Yeah, it feels like it. Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know. But I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? Mm. I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. So went back inside his mansion. I tried to follow, but so his bodyguards blocked my path. Go home. Unless you want to get kicked out. What's the relationship between So and Shoko? Know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. So his bodyguard is in my way. Why does he have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Huh. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Do you know Shoko Nadami? I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Fair enough. Anything suspicious lately? No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Date, a minute. You're you're the honest one. You're the ones the married what one. Happened? So is on the move, most likely in a car. Oh I shit! Know. I hacked So's smartphone, and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Damn, girl, go off. Not his rental phone, the one registered under his name. Where's he headed? Unknown, somewhere to the east. Curious. Roger that. Oh, I want to distract you. Oh well. Oh shit. Let's go. We speeding. Upper warehouse district. Okay.
What's in there? What was so doing here? Date, my apologies. Oh no. What's wrong? My battery is low. Are you serious? Well, I guess it's not gonna be a problem. I can still see out of my right eye. Mission halved, and I went into the warehouse. This is not ideal. We also have no record of what's actually ins inside here now, since we don't have five IBA updates. What? What in heaven's name? Packed with cardboard boxes. Oil. Forklift. Crane. Hooks hanging with the ceiling crane. Out here, is this warehouse not in use? Wooden box on the shelf. Cardboard box on the floor. This is not how warehouses are labeled, at least in my experience. It goes ABC ground up. Ice cutting machine? Switchboard? Is there a switchboard in the back? I'm afraid to see what the hell this is. Something covered with a white cloth that's on the that's... table. I don't... Oh, boy. Uh, it can't be. What? Who is this? What the hell is Iris. this? Is this legit? Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back, and one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okira Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima. Bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. We're short. We're really short. This is exactly what we saw. In the, uh... Oh, no. Because remember... Yeah, that's what we saw in, in Mizuki Somnium. Because sometime real soon... We, uh... I'm going to die. That's right. We did have... Shit, it is her. God damn it! What the hell? Hello there. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. If he's lying, maybe he's not. But he's, even if he doesn't know her name. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. Oh boy. 
Iris's body was discovered in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse in the Warehouse District by the harbor. Okiura Fishery? That caught my eye too, but we'll get to that later. The actual murder site is unknown. The lack of blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that 18 scene. hours? I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Oh shit. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. I hadn't been in contact with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. I saw So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iba recorded the whole thing. Just before my battery ran out. And those so does no iris. Her right eye was removed and she suffered. There were no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab from the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. Picture of Iris in front of So. Oh, the thermal detect. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Ah. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? Stood up and went to the corner of the room. Picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. Surveillance is wicked, ain't it? I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Care to explain? Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent. As is my right, guaranteed by law. Huh. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. Smug bastard. Date, can I get a second? What? Are we gonna dive into him? if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. If it's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did, but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. All right. Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The hmm. shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Hide the body? Wait. What did 
you say? So didn't respond. But I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman, so does know about the corpse, because... I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? <laughs> Don't be stupid. So, Sejima? More like did Sejima. Then how do you know? Hey. Okay, that... The solid pun doesn't, doesn't quite work well in this case. <laughs> Stop dodging the question and answer. <laughs> you slipped up, boy. Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. Oh, dear. You've got it. Oh, all right. Sink with him. Oh, boy. It's going to be fun. <sighs> Right. Please, don't forget the six-minute time limit. <sighs> you say it every time. Let us begin. 